Don't forget to like and subscribe to Evolve MEP. Hello, this is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. Let's go over modifying title blocks within Evolve. So there's a lot of customization we actually can do with the Evolve title block that we do ship with. In this video, we're gonna be focusing on adding an additional schedule into the spool title block family. So when you generate that shoot automatically, that will also have that schedule that we predefined. So you can right away go into the family and modify the title block before generating any sheets. But in this situation, I'm gonna show you what happens when you want to add a schedule going forward. And if you want to regenerate a sheet that was already created with the updated title block. So let's dive right in. So first I'm actually gonna go into my spool manager and generate my sheet. So I have some predefined spools, meaning I defined the elements that I want in my spools. So I'm gonna first select these three and I'm gonna generate sheet. So I'm gonna go into this icon saying generate sheets and I'm gonna choose my advanced spool title block. Press okay. And what again this is doing is it's generating those sheets for those three spools and also the schedules and views for that sheet as well. So this already is a huge time saver, so you're not having to manually create any of this. Evolve is going to do this all automatically for you. So let's actually open up one of those sheets here. And you can see we have our build of material. We have all these different views on the side, cut list. From there, you can just kind of play around with Tetris, or you can also just delete the views that you do not care to have. So you can see build of material, all this great stuff. But let's say we want to add another schedule on this title block. So I'm going to go into my edit family. Now that we have our title block family open here, the biggest thing is these boxes here. This is gonna be what will be automating a lot of that process for you. And you can see we have our view template. So I have it be my cut list, I have my build material. So the view template is the biggest thing in making sure that it's mapped correctly to what you are wanting to define within your project. So let's go over adding an additional schedule into here. So let's say this is a schedule I want to be added to my title block. So when I'm generating those sheets automatically, it will be placed on my sheet. Currently, there is not a view template created for this schedule, and that is the biggest thing. So I'm going to come up here and say create view template from view, and I'm going to name this two-tier trapeze schedule. This naming is very important because this naming has to match exactly what you have within your title block. So I'm actually going to go into my view templates and copy this exact naming it's gonna be really easy so control c so again i have now created a view template and let's go back in to our title block family so now within my title block family i am going to select one of my schedule boxes here and copy it over so i'm going to use my co keyboard shortcut and copy this over here now I'm going to go into that view template parameter within my properties and I'm just going to hit my control V and paste that naming. So again, you want to make sure that that name matches that view template that you created for that schedule. From there, we're going to load this title block back into our project. I'm going to select my override existing version and parameter values. And then from there, let us regenerate this view with that new title block. So let's go into our spool manager. Let us go into our spool O2 and generate our sheet. It's gonna say delete and regenerate sheets for the following. Say yes, choose your advanced spool title block that we did adjust. Now with that sheet regenerating, we'll also have that schedule that we mapped to. So moving forward, anytime that you spool and generate a sheet with that title block, it will also have that schedule. So now opening that sheet we also have that schedule and again the schedule only shows what is visible within your spool so that is today's fun feature friday on modifying the evolve spool title block family to be able to include an additional schedule if you have any questions or want to see more please visit our website and request a demo thank you